Hello, and welcome to another Orca 3D video tutorial. In this video, we'll walk through setting up and running an advanced stability analysis using an Orca design and a fluid load case. Before we can perform any advanced stability analysis, there is some setup required. First, we'll need to create our Orca 3D design. Then, add compartments and their appropriate properties, like names, permeabilities, and contents. Then, we'll need to create one or more fluid load cases to analyze. These steps are required to perform any advanced stability analysis using a fluid load case. So make sure you've completed them before following along in this video. Then, there may be some additional setup, depending on the type of analysis and the option selected. We'll go over the additional requirements for each analysis type in this video. Then you'll be ready to perform your analysis. There are multiple different types of advanced stability analysis, each with its own function and results. Let's go over the basic purpose for each type. Hydrostatics analysis finds and reports the equilibrium condition for the selected load cases with options to report static stability parameters, hull form coefficients, and much more. Stability analysis computes writing arms at a range of angles specified by the user, and the report includes a writing arm curve. And stability criteria evaluation tests the design against one or more user-defined limits. The report includes the attained values and whether or not the criteria was satisfied. To run an advanced stability analysis, we'll need to bring up the stability analysis form. There are two main ways of doing that. Go to the Orca 3D menu button at the top of the screen. Then click Advanced Hydrostatic Slash Stability, and then Fluid Load Case Stability. Next, we pick the design that we want to analyze. We are given three choices. The first, freeform design, allows you to choose any geometry, including surfaces not linked to an Orca 3D design. Freeform designs use fixed load cases, so we'll save that for another day. The next option uses the current design, as indicated by this yellow Orca symbol next to the design's name in the Orca tree. A single 3DM file can contain multiple ORCA designs. To change which design is the current one, right-click and select Make Current Design. Finally, you can specify the design by typing its name or double-clicking on it in the ORCA Panels Tree tab. Alternatively, you can bring up the stability analysis form by right-clicking on a load case in the ORCA tree, then selecting the desired analysis type from the context menu. Let's take a closer look at the stability analysis form. On the left side of this window, select the load cases you want to analyze. You can select multiple load cases to analyze at once using Control or Shift. The Report Options button gives you some control over how your report is formatted and what it includes. For a detailed breakdown of the report options, see the Help file. At the top of this form, a drop-down box allows you to choose between different analysis types. We'll talk about the first three today. Hydrostatics analysis finds and reports the equilibrium condition for the selected load cases. To run a hydrostatics analysis, simply select the load cases you want to analyze, set your report options, and click OK. At the end of the analysis run, ORCA will print a report for you. Most of these calculations only require an ORCA design and a fluid load case. However, some optional values require additional data. For example, section-based calculations require the user to define their sections in ORCA. If no sections are defined, the data will be left out of the report. Similarly, 
This section of the report requires ORCA points of interest to be defined. Without them, it'll be left blank. Stability analysis computes writing arms at a range of angles specified by the user. Which direction is positive is determined by the model orientation settings in the ORCA properties of the file. You can learn more about the sign convention in the Properties and Units section of the Help file. To run a stability analysis, first enter the angles that you want to analyze. You can use this shortcut to enter a series of values with increments equal to the difference between the first and second angles. Then, select your load cases and press OK to run the analysis. Scrolling through the report, you'll find that all of the data from a hydrostatics analysis is included in a stability analysis, although this can be changed in report options. In addition, the report contains a table of writing arms and a writing arm curve. Finally, let's take a look at the Stability Criteria Evaluation Analysis Type. Of course, we'll need Stability Criteria, which we've made a whole video about. Once you've added Stability Criteria to ORCA, select which ones to analyze here on the right. For most criteria, just expand the criteria set and check the Criterion's box. However, if your criterion uses a healing moment, such as any criterion using steady equilibrium, you must also expand the individual criterion. Then, select which healing moment you want to apply to the criterion. Then select your load case, and click OK to run the analysis. Of course, you'll have to add any items that your stability criteria require. In this case, we haven't defined our deck edge in ORCA. We'll follow the prompt and add one now. Once we've added all the required items, the analysis automatically goes ahead. In the analysis window, we can see ORCA performing three separate tests for the three separate criteria we selected. And at the end of the analysis, a report is generated. When multiple analyses are performed together, like when multiple load cases are selected or multiple stability criteria are selected, the results of the analyses will be put into one single report. Notice the repeating instances of tables and graphs as we scroll through the results from three separate tests. After a report is created during an analysis run, you can find it in the Reports section of the ORCA tree. Thanks for watching, and check out the ORCA 3D channel for more how to videos. Got more questions? Get more answers with the help resources in the description.